Hello everybody and welcome back to Season 40 of the Pichu London Cup Series. And this is it folks, it is time for the championship race here at Zen Joltis, the biggest NR2003 track ever made. Look at how big this track is. The fastest track on earth as well, almost 5 miles all around this oval. And it will come down to whoever finishes the highest among the four championship drivers here tonight and it's been all leading up to this folks the championship race at Zen Joltis it'll determine who will walk out of here with the championship and here's your starting lineup for the championship race on the pole will be the first of four finalists the two of Samet Oscon and alongside him will be the 88 of Max Bailey and the second row of the other finalist here in Zen Joltis, the 95 of Maxwell Smart and the 17 of Ventracy Battle. All are battling for the championship and to cement their name into the many champions of the Pichu London Cup Series. And here's the rest of the starting order who are not competing for the championship but are all just trying to win for the last time this season. There's Luke Walker, he's actually going to be running the 16 here today, bringing the calling team over, the calling racing team, over to the P2 London Cup Series in their very first race, believe it or not, for the team. Luke Walker is going to be their first driver running the 16. And again, the rest of these drivers, several of them tried to make the playoffs, but weren't able to get very far, and they failed to... um conquer the championship this year and look to come back next year trying to conquer a title there's Eli Bryan in the 62 the super speedway driver in his final race this season of course he has competed in every super speedway race we've had this season in Daytona, Coca-Cola and Talladega and he's back for his final race of the season in the 62 car Look, Eli Bryan will be looking to get a full time ride once again next season and so will these other drivers um, in season 41. They'll obviously be mostly in different rides and different teams. Some will stay with their same teams or and or stick with their same numbers. But there's definitely going to be a lot of changes next season in season 41 among the drivers. <laughs> like, they're, like we've always had every season, at the beginning of every season. But for now, it's time to celebrate the end of Season 40, a long season, an exciting season. It's about to come to an end here tonight at Zanjoltis with the crowning of a, of a new champion. Sam Khan on pole, of course, as I mentioned earlier. He comes in with two wins this season, looking to give Penske their title, a big title here for the two car. And then there's Max Bailey. The favorite to win the championship as he has four wins and only J.D. Figueroa tied him with wins this season. However, Figueroa was eliminated in the last round in shocking fashion. And then there's the underdog, Maxwell Smart in the 95. I mean, he came, he only came here with one win this season and he is the underdog of, of the championship four. Looks to bring the Levine team to victory. And finally, Van Tracy Battle back in a full time ride after being part time last season. And he has three wins up to this point. Also, a well deserving championship competitor. Also, trying to win for the um, Rosh Fenway team to add another title to their trophy case as their teammate, the Six, is out of competition for the championship. But the Rosh Fenway would still love to end their great season with the title so anyway again your rest of the field here on the left of your screen we're going to be doing two 10 lap stages uh, as normal for other super speedways just to add excitement and drama at the to the um, race itself in the championship weekend and maybe make some adjustments if I need to personally to make this exciting but anyway it's time to take you to the track side for the command to fire the engines up Well, it's hard to believe, but the season, one more race to go, 
until we get to the next season. And it's a, we're about to decide who goes home with the championship here tonight. We're just getting started in the first of two 10-lap stages here at Zen Joltis. And even if these Championship 4 competitors wreck, they'll still have another chance to make it to, to uh, in Stage 2, obviously. They'll have to start in the back of the pack, and it'll be a little tough. Might not be so tough because of how fast this speedway is, but, you know, you can overcome adversity. We've seen drivers overcome adversity a ton here at Zen Joltis. And Maxwell Smart has to overcome adversity on his own because he's on pit road before the start of the race. And there's a bit of an issue with the lineup here in the back behind him, but they're going to have one other car come to pit road. That's Riley Spurly Tube. Probably has to come to pit road before the start of the race. And we are now green in the championship race here at Zen Joltis. And we are underway. The 95 car looks to have the lead in the edge right now, but will he hold on to it? And he's out in front right now at the start of the race. They're four wide, and all the other Championship 4 competitors right now not off to a good start. That 95 has the advantage, but will it last? It's probably not going to last the entire race, but... He's just looking to win the championship and be ahead of the other three competitors. And now they're shifting again. They're six wide. This is the this is what the track could do. It has the ability to go six wide um, here. And if you make one mistake, it's a huge crash. Even though Maxwell Smart shifted at the high line, he still has the advantage. Uh, over the championship four, but now it looks like Van Tracy Battle. He's going to go on the bottom to try to pass him. Oh wait, I thought that was Van Tracy Battle. We have a crash on the first lap of the race. None of the championship four competitors I see are involved. I, oh no, Max Bailey was hit. 88 was hit. I, the 17 was hit. Two cars were hit, but it's still stage one, so there's still plenty of time for these guys to run the best they can. And yeah, there's still time, but they're just going to have to start in the back of the pack, which might be a disadvantage if we keep on seeing wrecks like this. Yep, I think those two competitors were involved right there. 17 and 88 were collided, made contact, and brought out the caution. So those were the two drivers involved in that wreck and Alexander Rowe was going to lead to the yellow flag and Samad Khan and Maxwell Smart are left for now but still again this is only stage one and those two other competitors involved will be back up to full speed in stage two and they are gonna it's gonna be a pretty tough battle for them to overcome but they're still in it this is only stage one like i said in this 20 lap race first of 10 to 10 lap stages so still time for the other two in the back of the championship four to compete as we get back to the green here at zen joltis with only five laps left in stage one maxwell smart with the advantage on the bottom but question is, is he going to hold on? Or will Sam and Oz kind of have something for him at the very end? You never know. The wreck could happen in the front of the pack and could really shuffle things up. Five laps to go. And Maxwell Smart's in the lead. Uh, well, the bonus points are not going to count towards um, the championship force totals. They just need to be higher than the other three championship contenders to win the title. It's race. It's a. It's the race of their lives here. Running as the 95 is going to go into the middle pack in the middle line. 
Sam and Oscon's in the middle as well. He is trying to get to the bottom lane. He's trying to get a run on the 95 car. Max Bailey's still in it, and so is Van Tracy Battle, but they're slower because they were in the rack before. First lap, the lap led goes to John Gilbert in the 41 car, and all these drivers are looking to win for the last time this season. Still anybody's race to win or to lose. It's definitely going to come down to the wire. Just four laps to go here in the champion. Just four laps to go in stage one. And looks like the two car has the better line. Then the 95 Maxwell Smart, and they're both at the same line. The two car really trying to close in. Hoping that nobody makes a mistake on his side or behind him or even in front of him because he might have to start in the back in stage two. That might be a disadvantage. Oh, Pichu really close with Eli Bryant. Now they're running really tight. Sam and Oscon, he's right in the middle of the pack, and things are getting dicey. And now they've crashed again. They have crashed again, and that'll bring the caution out to end stage one. The two championship four competitors, though, made it through without getting wrecked. Wow, another wreck, and that'll end the stage under caution. And there is the wreck, uh, in case if you're wondering who was involved handful of cars were involved wow what a crazy night this has been no it's still the first stage so stage one is over and Maxwell smart looks like he'll be restarting in fourth and Sam and Oscon will be restarting in 15th and that could give the bottom line to Oscon at the restart could be enough to overtake him in just a few laps and Van Tracy and Max Bailey is going to start 30th. And Van Tracy Battle is going to be 35th to start off stage number two. So don't go away. Stage two is coming up from Zanjoltis. And here we go, folks. We're back at Zanjoltis for the ten for the final ten lap stage. We saw we saw a lap a wreck on the first lap and on lap seven they wrecked again. So who knows what's gonna happen here at Zent Joltis. We get another caution to, and that would normally end the race under yellow. We will have an overtime finish with two laps to go. Um, all out, no cautions. And it would be the a great way to it would be an excellent way to determine our champion. <laughs> it's gonna be a wreck fest. Oh boy, what's the, what's in store for the final 10 lap stage? We're about to find out when we get the green. Here we go again, and we're back to green to green here at Zangeltus. John Gilbert leading the field down the line, and Maxwell Smart with the highest finish with the highest position so far among the championship four competitors. He came in as the underdog, and he could make an impact here tonight. If he's lucky enough, if he gets lucky enough to stay in front and avoid the wreckage. But it's only the beginning of stage two, and we might still have an overtime finish. Like I said, every car gets back on track, including the championship four competitors, even if they wrecked out. In the two-lap overtime, there's no caution. They'll run two laps, caution-free. They'll go all out for the win. Here comes Sam and Oscon into the middle lane. We'll see if he can avoid the carnage and get to the 95. We'll see if the 17 and 88 can make huge comebacks. 17 is already underway and making a comeback as Van Tracy battles on the bottom. Still a chance for her, I mean him, sorry, him to get that champion, to get the run into the front. He's on the bottom. Max Bailey down the middle line. Oh, he's in dangerous territory. Oh, boy. 
thought for a second that somebody was going to crash and <laughs> that was going to be the end of it. 95 car up on the wall. Oh boy, now they're starting to really get mixed up now. 95 is up in the wall. It could be an advantage for him because he might avoid the carnage. If there's a big crash, he might be in good shape. To avoid it, Sam and Oscon and Ventracy Battle are now on top of the um, championship four. The 17 has the advantage on the bottom. 17 car Ventracy Battle, he has the advantage on the bottom lane. Sam and Oscon is in the middle of the pack and Maxwell Smorch trying to stay out of the wall. Oh, they're crashing right behind them. Well, at least they lasted a lap longer than before. And no championship four competitor was involved. And Max Bailey, I don't know if he had some damage. I'm not even sure. He was in the back of the pack, and it looks like he avoids it. How about that? Max Bailey, he was um, almost absent for this entire race. But sure enough, look at that. Might have just avoided it. I don't know if he hit the 18, if it's gonna, it's gonna slow him down, but might have avoided that wreck. And uh, I'm sure the I'm sure the championship four competitors are sure glad that none of the, none of those four were involved. Oh, another crash! They're crashing again, and Oscon is around. I never thought there would be another wreck. Max Bailey's in and Oscon involved. He flips upside down. And Maxwell Smart gets in it. And the 17 gets away. Van Tracy Battle gets away from the wreck on lap three. Oh man. I think the 17 has the advantage. The other three competitors in the championship four wreck in stage two. And there's Mac. There's Maxwell Smart, and he has damage. Yes, he sure does. And let me see the others. There's Max Bailey and Smoke. There's Sam and Oscon. Major damage as well. The 17 gets lucky and might have gone away with it. Unless if a caution comes out, though, you never know. A caution could come out next, and those three competitors could be back in it. Oscon and Bailey, they're out. And Maxwell Smart's the only other one that can catch the 17, but it's going to be very tough in these final four laps here at Zen Joltis. We're back to the green anyway. It's going to be tough for the 95 to catch up to that um, 17. He's going to need a miracle. At this point, the 95 needs a miracle to get that to to get the title over the 17. Anything is possible, though. Four laps to go. A lot of drivers out of the race, but you never know. Another caution at this point could bring us to overtime, and the other three championship four competitors could be back in it to win it. Yeah, those three competitors, um, well, Maxwell Smart's still running. The other two are out of the race, but <laughs> they're hoping for a yellow so they can get back on track and let it all out and go for the final two laps and try to catch up to the 17. Here comes the 42 on the bottom lane. 17 is on the high line. On the way high line is the 17. This might be... The chance the 95 is looking for. Three laps to go at Zen Joltes. Unless if they rack in front of the 17. Three to go. They're 17 still up in the wall. And they're battling three wide for the win, by the way. 17 goes on the bottom a little bit of the lower line avoids the wall so the 17 right now is safe from the 95 they're a long ways out but again a wreck could still bring the 17 back from the back behind the 95 
And again, a caution is still possible, and that would bring overtime and bring the other two competitors, three com two competitors out of the race back in it. And wouldn't that be a surprising twist? 17 is on the back, but I think that's part of his strategy. He might try to slow down, go that low line, and try to get the lead and the win. Trying to win the championship the right way. I mean, wow, what a season this would be for Van Tracy Battle to win the championship. Wouldn't this be incredible? Two more laps to go. We're two laps away from crowning a champion, possibly. Van Tracy hopes to be the one to win it. Hopes to join, add his name over as one of the champions in the Cup Series. It's a battle between Grace Nacevedo and Chris Leone for the win, but it could be the 17's turn to lead. Could be the 17 to try to take the lead. Wouldn't this be a great ending if the 17 won the cha championship and the race? But Quinn Porter, he wants to win so bad. He wants that nine car back in victory lane. He's going to try to do it. 52, Clark McKee also tries to take the lead. Here comes the 52. Eli Bright could also win this race. And the 19, that is Nicky Mac. That is uh, Nicky Max. No, Toby Smith. I'm sorry, Toby Smith. Toby Smith. My bad. Toby Smith. 17 up high, but I don't think it matters right now unless if they wreck out the final lap. Wouldn't that be a shocker? Here we go. White flag next time by, and we're still green. If they take the white flag under green, this is it. This is the last lap. Here they go to the white flag with one lap to go. And they're coming to the white. And this is it. This is for the championship. White flag in the air. They take it under green. And all Van Tracy Battle needs to do is to hang on and not wreck out on the final lap. And he'll be your champion. Started off on the back and stage one off was off to a bad start. Then came back and got lucky and was the only one that didn't get damage from that wreck. Um, at Zanjoltis was able to escape. On the high line, it's going to be up to those other drivers in the back to try to battle for the win. But the 17, really hoping that he does not wreck out. He's hoping that he still can win, the, he can still stay alive and keep the car in one piece so the 95 doesn't overtake him. Probably the longest lap of his career, Van Tracy battles on the high line trying to keep himself safe into the final corners the 66 of Carter freeze in leading but the 10 car of unleash your quillies is right behind him and so is the 77 of Maxwell smart and here they come off the final turn this is for the marbles, and this is it. Checkered flag is in the air, and it's going to be Van Tracy Battle winning the championship in season 40. The 17 car gets the job done and wins the championship in season 40. The 17 hangs on to win the title and is your season 40 champion. And he finished in 17th. What a fitting number. Finishing 17th to win the title for car number 17. And Maxwell Smart was 22nd. A long distance back from the 17 though. And the 88 finished in 38th. And, 30, and the 2 finished in 36th. The winner from Zen Joltis though was none other than the 66 of Carter Friesen. The former champion... Has one in the 66 car. Takes the checkered flag for the 
second time in season 40. So Carter Friesen ends the season with the victory here at Zanjoltis. The 66 will go to victory lane today as the win race winner, but the 17 will claim the biggest prize of them all, the championship for the Pichu London Cup Series. The 17 car and Roush Fenway, they won a championship, but in the most unlikely of ways. And many people thought that JD Figueroa was going to be their champion for the in the 6 car with 4 wins. <laughs> But no, no one would expect their, his teammate to be the one that takes the title. And it's the 17 Van Tracy battle that does it. So the 17 of Van Tracy battle is now a champion in season 40. That is amazing. That's pure. That is amazing, folks. And that is it, folks. That is it for season 40. Of the Pichu London Cup Series. And Ben Tracy Battle is your new champion for the 40th season. And what a, a phenomenal effort for Maxwell Smart to try to finish the race. But will come up short on the title. But he was the only other one of the Championship 4 competitors to survive at Zen Joltis. And Sam and Oscon and uh, Max Bailey, they wrecked out. In a shocking fashion. So that is it here from Zanjoltis. It is now official. We have our winner in season 40. The champion of season 40. None other than Van Tracy Battle. So he is going to be among the champions. In the Pichu London Cup series. And let's take a look at the rest of the field. And look at Figueroa. He came in 40th. In 42nd. Wow, one of the most unlikely finishes of a season, of a what otherwise phenomenal season. Four wins for Figueroa when he came 42nd in the final race of the season. Wow, that, you could not, you could not make this up. I mean, Figueroa had four wins and he was deemed as the favorite to win the title before being eliminated, of course, in round three. But he came on 42nd. Obviously not the position he wanted to finish uh, this season. Otherwise, he had a pretty solid season with four wins. Wow, what are the odds? I mean, that's just incredible. But anyway, that'll do it here from Season 40 of the Pichu London Cup Series. And uh, it's just, it's it's been a blast doing 40 seasons worth of this, of offline racing in Intertown 3. Always excites me every season to see what these cars will provide, uh, what results will happen, what will happen in turn tracks. It just always it's it just always surprises me. Every season has surprises, <laughs> and I couldn't be um, more happy to see how far it's gone. I started this series uh, back in 2012, I believe. Uh, it's been running for almost for um, like over eight years now, <laughs> which is amazing. I did 40 seasons worth of offline racing in eight years, which is insane. It is was incredibly, incredibly insane. I mean, I had countless drivers, countless races and winners. It, I, it's just, I like, I've come from so far. I mean, this series has come so far. <laughs> I mean, it started off as the Pichu series in season 40, and then it progressed over to the um, Pokemon Cup series, and now it's known as the Pichu London Cup series, and uh, it has grown a lot since its very first season way back in 2012, I gotta say. <laughs> um, we've provided some awesome moments, great memories, and some awesome racing. Uh, that's all, that's um, mu as much as I, am, I can say right now, but... This series is huge. I mean, 40 seasons worth is amazing. I mean, I've done so much in those 40 seasons. I'm just, I'm proud to see how far it has come uh, for this series. And we're not done yet, folks. We're going to continue with the Pichu London Cup series for as long as I can. Um, as long as possible, I should say. I'm going to try to keep this uh, as long as possible. Uh, we've done eight years worth of, the, of races, like I said. And it's been a it's been an amazing ride. I mean, I'm just I'm thrilled to see how far it's gone. But anyway, um, 
what was what we're we gonna say next oh yeah um future plans um i'm gonna put the series on hiatus for now i'm not sure how long it's gonna be but it is gonna go on hiatus um after this race and the reason is because i want to work on other projects for this channel uh first off i do want to work on nascar video game evolutions um some i don't know if some of you remember but um I did two episodes worth of NASCAR Video Game Evolutions way back, way back, a long time ago that focused on Dale Earnhardt Jr. and uh, Jeff Gordon. And I never got around to um, continuing the to continuing um, to um, the series. I'm, I, not, I never got around to continuing the series. And I've always wanted to go back and, you know, continue the series wh right where it left off. I want to continue running with um, more other drivers and other games as well. Since that series came out, NASCAR Eight Four has come out. I'm sure NASCAR Eight Five will be announced very uh, NASCAR Eight Five will be announced very soon. But I do want to continue doing the NASCAR Video Game Evolution series, um, and do other drivers. Uh, the first episode I'm going to do I know is Ryan Newman because a lot has happened for uh, with Ryan Newman since uh, Daytona. So. <laughs> I figured uh, Ryan Newman's the first one I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do Jimmy Johnson, which who is in his final full-time season in the Cup Series, and then who who knows what other driver I'm going to be doing after that. So, but I do want to start again the NASCAR Video Game Evolution series, um, because I've been wanting to do it for a long time. I want wanting to go back to um, doing the series and picking up where it left off and doing more drivers and seeing how much they've you know how 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 much they've over, how much they've changed over the over the years of NASCAR video games. So yeah, I I want to see how much they've done over the years of NASCAR video games. So I figured why not go back and um, go back to those drivers and do them in order and see if they change teams or change color and paint schemes, uh, their paint scheme colors I should say, and uh, I want to do an evolution series on there again. So um, I will be planning to restart the um, P2, uh, the um, Video Game Evolution series, the NASCAR Video Game Evolution series soon. I'm going to be working on more episodes on that and focusing on other drivers. Uh, that's one big project I'm planning on doing. Another big project for this uh, channel is um, I'm planning to take the P2 London Cup series back in time. Um, planning a new series in which I put the P2 London Cup series in the 50s, 60s, and other decades um, as if what if uh, they ran in those decades. So I'm planning a series on that. This series I've been planning for years, believe it or not. Yes, years. Um, I still have a couple things to work on, but I really want to start a series where the P2 London Cup series goes back in time to the 50s, 60s, and other decades and see what it could have been like if it existed back then. I'm still working out on a couple things, but I'll let you know how uh, the progress of that. And I'm still working, I'm planning, I'm still planning on a couple things, but yeah. I'll let you know if there's more developments on that. So I really want to make it possible. I really want to make this possible. So anyway, that's another big project I'm working on. So NASCAR Video Game Evolutions are coming back. And also, I'm planning on doing P2 London Flashback or something like that. Whatever it's going to be called. But anyway, hope you enjoyed Season 40. Um, thanks to everyone that has participated, that's signed up, that's watched these races. It's amazing. Uh, and the sh and I believe the, sh the race, the um, league's popularity is as big as ever. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. I mean, we only get a few views usually, but I get hundreds of views, you know people watching races every every race and i'm happy for that i'm happy just getting over a little over 100 views on these i'm just i'm real happy that these guys are that all the fans and all the drivers are dedicated to watching these races um trying to make them as exciting as possible and i think uh, that's what brought the viewers in so hope you enjoyed our races in season 40 we'll be back in season 41 sometime this year um i'm not sure when next uh, when this year but I, again, I want to focus on doing NASCAR Video Game Evolution and uh, the other series with uh, P2, uh, the P2 Lone Cup series in different decades. So I want to do those two series mainly, and then I might go back to Season 41. 
But I uh, hope you enjoyed our uh, our season, and congratulations, Van Tracy Battle, on becoming your champion, on becoming the champion of season 40 of the Pichu London Cup series. So um, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next season, and hope to see you guys in the near future with new videos, new projects, whatever the future, whatever this year holds uh, holds for us. So until next time, we will see you guys later.